Hey there, internet friends. So, happy new year to everybody. Uh, it's 2023. I've actually been out fishing three times uh, this season so far, this year. And uh, every time I've had time to go fishing, it has rained the day or the couple days before. Streams have been high, running hard, off color. Uh, I've managed to get one hookup and didn't land it. And that's all the luck I've had so far this year. So today I decided uh, to come to one of my favorite hiking trails, which also has a little wild trout stream in it. And uh, I'm gonna check out the stream, check out the water, and see what it's like. And if it's not very fishable for me, uh, I'm just gonna do some hiking. So just come along with me and let's see what we can do. So I'm on part of the trail that kind of goes along the stream here and the water actually uh, looks like it's running just slightly high maybe a little fast but it's very clear um, I shouldn't say very clear it's a little off color but pretty clear so I think we might get some fishing in I'm gonna do a few miles of hiking so I'm not quite a mile into the hike and I just finished a nice steep climb get up to this uh, plateau up here going through some uh, evergreens and uh, it's really cold last I checked it was about 27 degrees Fahrenheit the ground is frozen solid the parts of the stream I saw didn't have any ice on it so that's good and it's probably because it seems to be running just a little high we did get a lot of rain a couple days ago and of course this snow, which luckily hasn't melted yet. So, I'm going to continue on for a little further. I think this trail dips down and then kind of meets the creek again. And I'll probably start fishing there. And then just kind of work my way up the stream. So, keep on going. All right, so I've made it down uh, into the canyon here. Uh, so the trail basically takes me uphill and along the ridge of the canyon that uh, the stream flows through and then brings me back down here. And I think the mouth of this stream is, is a little ways further downstream. I'm probably not too far from it, uh, but I decided that I'm gonna stop here hiking, set up my pole and uh, start fishing here, working my way upstream. Uh, so I think the, it's really cold as I mentioned. I think the fish are probably going to be in the really slow water uh, So I'm going to look for those kind of pockets All right guys, so I'm uh, two miles or so into the hike a little over two miles and I set up here. So today I am fishing a little size 20 Midge looking pattern kind of brightly colored and I'm floating that under a chubby Chernobyl. I tried a uh, small beetle pattern and I just couldn't see it on the water. So I had to go with the bigger, uh, the bigger fly here. I also want to note that uh, I am not wearing waders. Since it was a long hike and the hiking was pretty difficult, uh, I didn't wear my waders. So I'm running a 5X liter and I got about a, I don't know, 15 inches or so of 5x coming off the hook to go down to the midge I've come across this uh, area here that has a few good looking fishy spots uh, I don't know how many of them I'll be able to fish because I'm not that great of a caster but I think along that edge over there coming into those trees Trying not to get snagged in the trees under that rock, maybe. 
and then maybe under that log up there uh might be some hiding there. some good looking spots over here too but i don't know if i'll be able to get to them with a cast or not now the trick is to not get caught up so i'm fishing a nine foot five weight which is probably a little bit big and heavy for this type of water a seven foot three weight would probably be ideal uh unfortunately i don't have one of those so i'm fishing what i have And uh, working with these little flies with gloves is the biggest pain ever. So I would like to try over here actually. I don't know how good of a cast I'm going to get in there. But man, that is some fishy looking water there. A lot of trees i will definitely get snagged i'm not even gonna attempt it uh the other good spot is over by that rock i'd love to be able to get over there but i'm gonna have to make do with what i can get to which is this area over here to sneak down there of course I'm caught in a tree here go seems like I have a decent casting lane here That did not work at all. not where I want to be. It's a little better. There you go. And there was one hiding down there waiting. So if I land this, this will be my first fish of the year. gosh and I might not land it there we go all right first fish of the year it's a little wild brown trout try to keep him in the water there as best I can man he is brightly colored too he or she I'm not sure get my gloves off here Okay, buddy, let's get the hook out of you. All right, let him recover in the net a little. Wet the hands again. What a great looking fish.
first catch of the year is a nice little eight inch brown trout. Some nice red spots on him. And we'll let him get back to what he was doing over there in the cold water, hanging out, waiting for food. Good deal. First fish of the year, wild brown trout.